So, let me see this, see the rubber? This rubber should be underneath this metal, whatever metal piece is there. So it's gonna be a little while before I could actually uh, unscrew this. But this is a bad, that's a bad uh, tire rod right there. I mean, not tire rod, stabilizer ball link. It's a bad one, for sure. Thursday, look at Thursday. Ain't even Thursday, I'm rocking her mix. Love you with a fire. So, um, I got my Impala here. Um, got a bunch of issues this winter, but um, I got a stabilizer ball link that came in the mail. That I got to replace here. So, um, quick replacement. I mean, I need to take a couple of tools, a drill, a ratchet, probably a, a wrench. That's it, man. So, check it out. All right, so, number 13 socket. Only issue is getting it out. Normally you will put it two thirteens, one on the top, one on the bottom. Just tell you now. So I, I just by me doing this. Oh shit. I don't want to mess with me today. Last point I'm going to spin it out. That's loose. That's left loose. Oh. Now we got to figure out how can we get this rubber out. I think the best way for me to do it is probably jack this part up to release the tension and then. Look, I just turned the rubber. You see it's spinning around that metal contraption. And my job is now to try to pry this out as best I can before I can get the two screws, one on the bottom, one on the top, and then pretty much unscrew it and add the new one in. Gone. So the rubber's gone. That was my biggest issue. And now it's just pretty much a screw. Alright, and it looks like uh there was a washer on top. So it could have been the original problem. Um we'll take that out, add the brand new one. Oh, 
my god. Alright, so you still have this little this rubber section in the middle that's just holding on right to it. That's how it should look more or less. What I do now is just loosen the jack. And as I loosen the jack, you're gonna see separation. Boom, right? And then what I do is just add the new one in. So not that hard, y'all, just being on my knees kind of sucks. Good to know, guy. Check this. Look, my tire rod look like shit too. So, garbage, garbage, right? Wash, garbage. Just put a new one in. I think we should go downwards. Last time I had it up, and that it popped up, so I think downwards might be the best bet to go. This little slider. This slider kind of replaces this one, but I feel like this one's better, but whatever. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go down. So I go down. Slide it open up. Go through. Go down. Honestly, I think I'm going to have to pick up a stabilizer bar. I'm not dropping it down. Got enough space right there. Got to see it. See the space? So, let me just do this right here. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Hold on, let's see it now. All I'm doing is now. Picking up, picking up, sliding. Right. Another one slides in. At this point, all you gotta do is kind of just get it into the grooves and shit. So, here's my issue now. 
is a little problem you're gonna get into. Space here. Sometimes that's the issue. If you do it too much, you won't allow any breathe room. So that's that. Now we get this last one in. And it also could be a, the reason why it damaged already was because. It wasn't um, put in properly, maybe. See, if you see this one, compared to this one, already. Just by pressure, you know, flatten out my pressure. So. So you just the power in this is not so good right now, so it's not really gonna matter. I'm just trying to save myself some energy, some time and energy. Yeah. Alright, look. Different size ratchet. I'm going with the 13, this with the 14. 14. Careful also because because you're stripping, it could get to the end and it's just turning. So I feel like that's, that's where we at right now. And when I loosen this, control arm should be good. Right. So honestly, you see, I see more, there's more pressure in between than it is on top and bottom. question. So you remember, so I was talking about, see this right here? It's just kind of like uh, when, the, when the nut gets to the end and it's just spinning. And that's kind of how I feel like where it's at right now. Yep, exactly right. So, job done, y'all. Honestly, this is over. You put the car on the floor, it'll be a little more level than I'm pretty sure it was. 
Those bubbles will level out. But job done, y'all. Simple, right in the street. Right in the street. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate y'all.